All right, a little update on the Caprice build. Got inner fender wells out. These are racing headers I just cut um, just to put something on to get the stock ones off. Pulled all the emissions crap. There is no electrical wiring other than my harness to run the car. I haven't decided if I'm going to go with an electric fan or the stock fan yet, which is why there's no fan on it. I haven't decided yet. There's my harness. I got to put my battery box in and whatnot. So, um, got a wire alternator up to run back to the battery. Got all that. I'll tape, I'll just probably tape, manage to tape that there up. That should hold. I'm gonna be cutting the firewall out anyways to make room for the distributor. This is going in a stock build. Been playing in the mud. So it's all, oh, I can't really see either way. It's all completely gutted other than steering column. So, um, there's everything for battery box, which basically where the battery is sitting is where the battery box is going to go. Um, how I mount my battery is I have half inch bolts. Uh, basically one, it's, since it's plastic, it's basically one in each corner. I do usually have, um... A washer underneath the metal suck everything through my all thread um, basically the washer underneath washer on top the floor sandwich everything together then that is up top so that'll actually sit something like this and then this bar then my angle iron just sits like that and that holds it in um, I've ran it and basically the last five six years that way i've had no issues with any of it so um but that's how i'm gonna mount that i'm gonna put a dash bar in and put bars in each door and put the bar behind the seat so um haven't mounted the tank yet still stock tank but it'll get mounted somewhere back in here. Um, that's the chain for the windshield that I'll put in. The window is not going to get, windows and doors are not going to get welded and taken out until actually the week of the Derby. And this car is getting derbied at Wayne County Fair in Worcester, Ohio um, in September. Um, I know it's on a Thursday in September, but can't don't know exactly which thursday it's either the first or the second thursday of the month so that's i still got to put a bumper on i'm not sure how i'm going to do that i got to weld the rear end yet but there is an update so i'm gonna like i said i, I will run a dash bar i'm gonna run my door bar between here between those two points It'll run all the way back to here, and then I'll do the door bars first, and then I'll put the dash bar in, and then the back seat bar, and that's how she'll run. And so, like I said, I got, got a little bit of progress done on it, but a lot, of, a lot of the, from last video to this video, has been mainly the wiring. I wanted to make sure that all you know just it's a slow process with wiring i get frustrated a lot with wiring so but i got it all figured out thanks to my dad for figuring out how to do the power steering pump um on these cars with it's got a bunch of it's got more brackets that actually go mount to your stock exhaust which moves everything out which actually moves your pump out all because of the emissions crap and AC pumps and bullshit like that. So, 
Um, basically doing it this way, running aftermarket headers, you can't really use all the stock mounts. So I had to basically kind of rig something up, but we got it figured out. So no biggie. But that's the way it is. The headers will get changed. They're just on there, so this way if I have to fire it up and move it out of the garage for whatever reason, I'm not shooting fireballs out to the tires or whatever, or, you know, catching shit on fire. So those are just on there temporarily. They'll get taken off and have other headers put on. So, but there she is, pretty much ready to rock and roll. Just a few minor things and it'll be ready. Hopefully, any, hopefully, if anybody sees this locally, you guys can go out and support the Derby. If you guys can, build a Derby car, because honestly, I'd like to see this Derby continue to grow. So, uh, last year was real crappy, but I'm hoping for a better year this year. Well, until the next one.